Hello students, let us start chapter atomic structure. First we will see the history of atomic theory where Democritus who was a, an ancient Greek philosopher believed that all matter consisted of extremely small particles that could not be divided. He called these as atoms which meant uncut or undivisible. Aristotle believed that all matter came from only four elements that is earth, air, fire and water. But before this um, we had Indian contribution also like Maharshi Kannada he is regarded as the propounder of atomic theory. According to his theory, he described dimensions, motion and chemical reactions of atoms. The essence of the, his sutras is the atomic theory of matter. It was Kanada who originated the idea that Anu atom was an indestructible particle of matter. Maharshi Kanada had given some postulates to his work of atomic theory. His postulates are as follows. Everything can be subdivided in some important postulates such as like Pramanu is indestructible and it cannot be further divided. It is the basis of all material existence. Then he called these uh, atoms as Parmanu later on. And then a uh, few more postulates are there like Parmanu as unique identity with the specific property. Then it is invisible to the naked eye. And then they exist in two states, state of motion and the state of absolute rest moving on Dalton John Dalton gave important postulates for his atomic theory like all matter is composed of a very large number of very small particles called atoms atoms are indivisible particles which cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction but we see that in nuclear reactions they can be we will study it in later sections then the third one atoms of a given element are identical in mass and chemical properties atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties atoms combine in ratio of small whole numbers to form compounds then he said the relative number and the kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound. Although some of the postulates that he has given were found to be later found to be true, but some were discarded on the basis of experiments done by the later scientists who proved that uh, like uh, in nuclear reactions, we see the origination of new atoms. Well, these are the subatomic particles which include electrons which are negatively charged, almost massless particles that nevertheless amount, count for most of the size of the atom and they include the heavier building blocks or the small but very dense nucleus of the atom. They revolve around the nucleus that means. The positively charged protons and the electrically neutral neutrons are found inside the nucleus. And electrons, they move around the nucleus in their fixed orbits. These are some of the properties of subatomic particles. 
you will be dealing with it in detail in the later half now discovery of electron in the 1897 j thompson used a cathode ray tube to deduce the presence of negatively charged particles cathode ray tubes tubes pass electricity through a gas that is contain a very low pressure a high voltage is adjusted between the two terminals as you can see in the diagram we see that um beam of rays this is an red red rays and cathode rays comes from cathode to anode you say so that electrons these are properties of electrons they have um three fundamental property uh, properties of charge mass and spin by definition the electric charge of an electron is minus 1 the mass of electron has been measured and found to be 9.1 to the power minus 11 kg electrons also spin on their axis in much the same way that plants do in comparison to protons and neutrons electrons are very less as far as their weight is concerned or mass is concerned now discovery of protons same cathode ray tube was used by goldstein over here and he found that when cathode was perforated he found that um, some beam or particles were seen coming from anode passing to the perforated cathode and he called them as canal rays and later on he proved that it was it was protons the discovery of protons attributed to rutherford because of the cathode ray tube used but in in 1986 goldstein discovered existence of positively charged rays and the discharge tube by using perforated cathode as I, as i told you these rays were named as anode rays or canal rays canal rays the word proton was assigned to this particle in 1920 having positive charge okay we will be dealing with the properties of protons now protons are found in the nucleus of the atom this is a tiny dense region at the center of the atom as i told you protons have a positive electric charge of plus 1 and a mass of 1 amu which is about 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilograms so this was the outcome of the experiment that goldstein did using the same cathode ray tube it was used by rutherford in the for for his discovery of electrons now moving on to neutrons in 1920 physicists knew that most of the mass of the atom was located in the nucleus at its center and that the central core contained protons in may 1932 that was way back you can see that our discovery of nucleus james chadwick announced that the core also contained a new uncharged particle which he called as a neutron a neutron being natively in, um, having no charge at all so we come to an end of this particular part we will carry on with the next part till then thank you